Hey there, I am Nev, I am a dev and today I'm back after a long break. I've been out there rowing and doing some school stuff and yeah, but now I'm back uh, on another video and some some stuff happened while I was gone. One of the things is that Vault 5 is now a release candidate, which means that Vault 5 will probably come out in, I don't know, in the near future, which is uh, very cool. And one very important part of Vault 5 is their reactivity thing. So they are kind of re planning reactivity with something that is called runes so uh, I didn't want to touch runes in a video because I thought this would get updated soon or this would get updated maybe but yeah now it's I think pretty much clear how uh, runes are gonna look like and and today I'm gonna cover them so you can create your uh, little project with Svelkit with one create well the latest runes demo and now I should be able to um, select uh, Svelte, uh, Svelte, uh, Skeleton Project, TypeScript, and we want this one. Let's take Island and Prettier, don't need the rest. So code runes demo. Nice, so we are here in our repo. Let's just hit run install to uh, install everything. Hit run dev and we should already be up and running right here. So if we refresh, welcome to Svelte. Thank you. So the first thing that they updated is their state th stuff. So let's let's just go ahead and do demo. Let's just create a full demo of the older rooms. So button increment increment state. And in here we're gonna do a p state is we're gonna set that later. So yeah, the first thing is a state, and which means state is dollar sign state and here we can set zero. Oh yeah let state i was a bit confused because i did some python in school so yeah we got this one uh, right now of course it doesn't do anything uh we need to do on click plus plus oh oh yeah they also removed that one crazy okay um now we should be able to do this uh, of course before it was just like that and I am not sure if this still works. Yeah, it still does. But I think um, using this state rune is probably more effective. So yeah, we have this state rune. Then we have something that is the derive. And we can go ahead and do, let's put this to number. Number, number. Yeah, we have this double button right here. And we have, we can do a doubled, doubled is doubled wait we don't actually need to do this double now we can go ahead and set let doubled is derived and this is we need to set this to an expression so for example uh we, what we're gonna do here is number wait number is actually kind of a stupid name for a variable because it's also a type um let's call this num let's call this just num and we can do this times two. Now we have this. So we used to do this a little bit different. So we used to do this like let doubled and then we have just num times two. And then we had we had this to listen to a change, but this syntax is no, lo no longer allowed. So we need to use that one. The next rune is the effect rune and it's, it sounds like use effect from react right and it kind of is so if we have some gsap animation going on in our svelkit app um it will initially fail that's because you need to use on mount or you had to use on mount uh, because gsap kind of works with this clause or id selector and before the DOM is mounted, uh, there are no elements with certain IDs or classes. So we had to wrap this into a use uh, into a on mount uh, hook. But now we can just use effect, which is function, and we can do log num. I don't know. It's just right now I don't really numb. 
Oh, this will also listen to changes inside. So it's like this old syntax right here. So we'll listen to changes right here if we update the state. So the next rune is the props rune. And how we used to define props was with export led prop. And if it was, and this would basically make it a required prop. But if we wanted to make it optional and give it a default value, we could just do it like that. And then we could just use prop in here. Um, now with their new compiler and stuff, they do it a little bit different. We can define this and this is equals to dollar sign prop. This is similar to Astro. What we can pass in here is our prop. So for example, title and body, and we want the body to have a default value. So we're just going to go ahead and put in body. And now we can render title and body right here. So this would be the component side of stuff. What we can do now is in here, we can import this example component uh, does not auto import like that. And now it throws an error because property title is missing. Why doesn't it say anything for body? Yeah, because well, we defined it as a default value with body. So we got to define something in here. Um, a blog post, for example, we have this little thing right here. Let's make this an h2 actually. So it is a bit better readable or an h3. Yeah, blog post body. And right now, this is just body, but we can of course also set this new with the body attribute being or the body prop being I built this with Svelte 5. Another rune which probably won't uh, be used so much, but it is actually very useful is the inspect rune. So if we go ahead and do inspect and we're just going to do num and doubled, for example, uh, let's comment this out real quick so you can see what is happening. And we go into our console and we see our init is zero zero. What does that do? So basically, this is the equivalent to a console log, but every time this value or this value changes, it will console log again. So it will do this init thing right here to show us the initial thing. And if we do this, update, 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 it will always show us the updated variables. So yeah, these are the five most important Svelte runes, in my opinion. Uh, there are, I think, in total seven, but these are my five most important runes, except the effect rune, which I probably won't use as much as I will use the other ones. But yeah, to quickly sum it up, dollar sign state to set a state, dollar sign derive to make a stateful variable um, which updates if something updates inside it. Inspect to console log something and console log it again every time it is changed. Dollar sign props to define props and use effect to run when the DOM is mounted. I hope you like this video. If so, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and we will see us on Wednesday. Goodbye.